CPU, also known as processor, stands for Central Processing Unit. This is what does the calculations in your computer and is most probably the main contributor to the speed and responsiveness for your system. The speed, or clock frequency, refers to how many cycles the processor goes through in a second. A 3 GHz processor does 3 million cycles per second. Obviously, the more cycles, the faster the unit. However, the efficiency of each cycle is also important. The efficiency of each cycle is known as IPC, instruction per cycle. Just to visualize this mini bit, imagine a man running. You're trying to get from point A to point B. The faster you run, the faster you get there. However, if you have a small stride, then for every leg movement, you don't cover much land. In the same way, a CPU, despite having a fast clock frequency, must also have a large IPC to be effective. Another concept of the processor is the catch. The catch is simple, ultra-fast, accessible memory in the processor. The catch stores data temporarily, which may be required from the CPU. If the CPU has to get data from the RAM modules, it will take time. So most CPUs have the catch, which will store data which can be sent fast to the CPU when it needs it. The bigger the catch, the faster the CPU will be at performing tasks. There's also cores. You may have heard of dual core, quad core and even hex core. Basically, the more cores, the easier the CPU can deal with the data it's fed. Now if you don't understand this, I don't blame you. I'll try and visualize it. Imagine a river. The river is your process as a whole. Garbage is chucked at one end of the river. The catch ensures that the garbage is chucked in quickly. The garbage is data which needs to be processed. The river's primary objective is to get rid of the garbage or process the information. The speed the river flows is the clock speed. The faster the river flows, the faster the garbage will pass. The instruction per cycle is the effectiveness of each ripple. Cores are when the river splits into channels. It makes the river be e able to easily distribute the garbage. So the information passed through, the fast speed of the river meant that the data was processed fast and multiple cores meant that the processor could do, us, uh, could do its tasks much more efficiently. The catch meant that the garbage could quickly be put in one end of the river. Thanks for watching, I hope it helped. Make sure to click like and subscribe button below the video for more great videos.